The following past paper question states that under certain conditions, the equilibrium pressure of the three gases are, are given. Nitrogen is given, its pressure is 44.8 atmospheres. Hydrogen is given, it's 105.6 atmospheres. And the partial pressure of ammonia is given, which is 37.2 atmospheres. And then uh, the first part of the question states that write an expression for the equilibrium constant Kp for the Haber process. The first thing is we need to come up with the equation of the Haber process, which is that you have uh, a nitrogen molecule reacting with three moles of H2 and they are in equilibrium with two molecules of ammonia and they're all gases. So all of them are gases. Hydrogen is a gas and so is nitrogen a gas. And I need to write the expression for Kp. Kp is the, is the ratio of the pressure of the products divided by the ratio of the pressure of the reactants. So my product, uh, product would be in the numerator. My product is ammonia, so it's the pressure of ammonia divided by the pressure of my reactants, which are nitrogen and hydrogen. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, write the expression now. So it's going to be the partial pressure of ammonia, which is my product. And since they are two moles of NH3, this would be squared divided by the uh, by the reactants over here i have the pressure of nitrogen n2 is only one mole and the other reactant is is h2 so it's going to be multiplied by the by the partial pressure of h2 but that would be cubed because i have uh, a total of i have a total of three moles of h2 so this would be my expression for kp and in the next part, uh, I need to calculate Kp from the data giving the units as well. So uh, there's, a, there's some data given over here for the pressures of each gases. And I need to just substitute the, these values into the expression for Kp. So substituting these values, uh, Kp would become equal to, it's going to become equal to the partial pressure of NH3 ammonia. But that would be squared. So it's going to be 37. It's going to be 37.2 squared and I'm going to divide that by the partial pressure of nitrogen which in this case is 44.8 and that would be multiplied by the partial pressure of H2 which should be cubed so it's going to be 105.6 100, cubed so uh, remember be very careful when you're doing your calculations because uh, uh, a lot of people um, uh, don't know how to use the calculator properly. So make sure that you solve the numerator and the denominator separately. Do the, do the calculation steps and always recheck when you're doing the calculation. So, so the answer on my calculator for this uh, expression is, the answer is 2 point, uh, it's going to be 2.62 2 times 10 to the power minus Five. Remember to get the significant figures right. Uh, uh, the rule is that if the values that you're using are up to three significant figures, uh, this one is for four significant figures. Uh, so you're going to use uh, your output or your answer is going to be expressed in the least significant figures that are given in the given as as your input. So over here, uh, uh, two values are three significant figures. One value is four significant figures. Your answer should be in the format of uh, three significant figures. That would be your uh, precision or accuracy. So it's going to be 2.62 into 10 to the power minus five. And we were also supposed to give the unit as well. Uh, uh, to find the unit, what I'm going to do is, uh, the unit over here is atmospheres. Uh, as you can, uh, because all the values, all the pressure values are given in atmospheres. So your output unit is going to be in atmospheres. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to substitute uh, in this expression over here, I'm going to substitute atmosphere. So it's going to be atmospheres squared divided by atmosphere multiplied by atmosphere cubed. And as you, if you simplify this, this would become equal to ATM to the power minus two. If you simplify this expression, uh, the atmosphere square is uh, in the numerator, atmosphere to the power of 4 is in the denominator. Eventually, if you simplify this, you're going to get atmosphere to the power of minus 2.